and welcome to Devonish College News. I'm Esther and this is Nathan. The top stories in today's news. We'll have the latest on the school building. Also, food for glorious food, but is it? We hear pupils views on school dinners. And in sports news, how Devonish footballers are fighting to win the cup. Plus, cold weather, is it set to continue? But our first, our top story, a team of architects have been appointed to design the new school. This means we could have a picture of the new school building by June. Our reporters, Nicole and Megan, have been to interview the principal, Mr Walker, and they asked him how much the new school will cost. £23 million has been set aside to build a new school. How big is this new school going to be? The school has been approved for 800 pupils. How long do you think it will take to build? We don't know exactly, but what we do know at the moment is that the work has already started on the Temple Road site, so the diggers are out there at the moment, and the Department of Education has said that the new school has to be started, they have to start to build it by 2016. Is the new school able to hold more pupils than there already are? Yes, we currently have 520 pupils, and the new school will be built for 800. How come there was a delay for so long? Originally we were in the PPP, Public and Private Partnership Project, but the Department of Education decided that that was no longer suitable for schools in Northern Ireland, so that was stopped. And then we went into Design and Build, and after that the area-based planning came along, so that's accounted for all the delays so far. But we're very pleased that the work has already started with the diggers on the road, Temple Road side at the moment. Is the new school going to be more modernised than this one? Yes, very much so, and it will be the most modern school in Fermanagh. Is there any latest news on the new build? The most recent update we have is that the, the Western Education Library Board hopes to appoint the design team before the end of April and then they will design some plans and show them to us before the end of June this year. Now what do you think about school dinners? Over the years there's been complaints about the costs and the taste of the food. So we thought we'd find out if they really are that bad. We sent our reporters out to ask pupils what they liked and disliked about the canteen food. It's not really as bad as people make out to be. What's your least favourite thing about the canteen? Uh, that if you're on second lunch you don't get that much food, like there's nothing left. I like the special dinners they do at Christmas and yeah, at Christmas they have nice stuff there. What's your least favourite thing about the canteen? Well, it's really cold in there. It does, like, I don't think there is any heating. It's really cold. Lasagna and it's really, really nice. What's your least favourite thing about the canteen? The chicken curry. It has no taste and it's watery. I like the chocolate cake because it's fresh and swell, nicely cooked. I like. I don't like the chips because they're hard and they're undercooked. Welcome to DCN Sports News. My name is Sasha and this is Matthew. Last year the school football team just missed out on winning Northern Ireland Small School Cup. Despite their loss, they're even more determined to win this year. To hear how they will get their victory, we are joined by their sports coach, Mr Lyons. Hello, Mr Lyons, and how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. How has the team played so far this year? Uh, yeah, the, the team's been very encouraging so far. We've had opportunities in training games to try players in different positions, and uh, we're, we're progressing well at this stage of the season. What is the biggest challenge to the team winning the Cup this year? Well, I think it's get off to a good start in the local competitions and uh, then hopefully we can have some success at, at a higher competition level, you know. So we have Mac McMullen Shield games coming up in February and we have to get off to a positive start there. What special preparation are you making this year for the team? Well, we have obviously the after-school practices down at the 3G pitches and we'll be doing a bit of work in class time to hopefully improve sort of individual skills within players and obviously try and players in new positions this year as well. How can they improve from their last year? Uh, well, last year, to be honest, you couldn't have faulted the team and how they went out and performed. I, I think it's just important to keep working consistently on our fitness and uh, on our basic game skills. And if we do that and play as a team, the team will not be too far away at the end. Could the people support the team more? Uh, of course, there's always opportunities uh, for for pupils to come down and, and support the team. Um, however, the, the reality is to, you need to get to a big final or one of the finals to get a good batch of buses or a good amount of school out. Unfortunately, you can't get out of school all the time. 
Thanks for your time, Mr. Lyons. Thank you. Thank you for listening, and a big thank you to Mr. Lyons. And this is DCN, DCN Sports News. Several pupils experienced falls during the recent spell of snow and ice. Some have claimed this was because paths weren't salted properly. We spoke to one of those affected to find out more. What happened? Well, I was walking up to school one day and I bumped my head. Were you badly hurt? Yes, I had a bit of a sl- uh, slight bit of concussion. What do you think could have been done to prevent this? Well, if they have the pavement salted, it wouldn't happen to start off with. What advice would you give to people out in these icy weather conditions? I would just tell them to stay in. Thankfully, the weather is set to improve over the next few days with snow and ice clearing. It will feel a lot warmer. We've been Demers College for BBC News School Report.